Okay, hello. So I'm trying to get your attendance. A lot of persons have been calling and because of that, I've decided to do this short video. Um, so quickly, I'll just show you some things that you can use to extract your attendance. So now um, I'll just use um, a course, CBS221, for instance. So I go into this course and when I get into this course, one of the things that I told us during some of our trainings then was that always enable activity completion. The activity completion helps you to track what students have done, what they came to do and all that. So how do you get to that report where you can download it? You get to this point, to this gear button here, and then you click on more. When you click on more, you go to reports. And on that report, you can see activity completion. So when you click on activity completion, it shows us that these are the students. All the students who are on this course will be on this page. You can see from one to 15. And then these are all the activities and resources on this course. So what you do is, you can see that they have marked them complete. So for those ones marked complete, it means that the students completed something here. So you can download it in this format, Excel. And once you download it, <clears throat> you can just go ahead and then you open it to see that, um, you can see what you're seeing now, um, of course. So you can decide, you can see that um, it has dates and time and all the other things that you would need. So that's just one way. And with this, you can actually start by, you can start getting all the various reports that you need. You can use this to update. For instance, some persons will just simply say, all not completed should be maybe zero um, and completed should be a certain number. You can just do a control find and then you can change all of that. Now, that is just one way to start getting your report. But if I were you as a lecturer, this is where I would start from. I would just first of all get at least it has all the numbers, the complete, all the students that were enrolled for this course, it has it. So with this now, I can start to now get the information and all the things that you did it would put it there and then beside each completed to put the time the date and the time there so you can use this as a way to start to collate your report some lecturers decided that okay they want to also use um turn it in i mean i'm sorry zoom zoom report you can also do that um, maybe you've captured um your matric number but that may not uh, give you the best of your report. But still, it's a way to also use the reports that you did for the various lectures that you had with your students. So, so because of this, um, I'm, um, I'll just go back to this page. So this is one way out from, and then you can get to know what you want to do. It shows that, okay, this activity, if you have, but well, if you have not been enabling activity completion, this will be a little challenging. Uh, so you have to go through the process of checking, okay, how many students submitted an assignment, those that did not submit it, what would you do with them? So this is just what I wanted to do today and to show us what is needed for us to do. So other ways to do these things is that you can now go into, for instance, this is an assignment and you have 358 students, 297, 290, 249 submitted. So you can just go ahead and then view all submission or download all submission you can use this also to to now support the other report that was earlier downloaded then this can also help you, you can view all the submission for instance and then or you download it and once you download it but one of the things i told us the last time is that you, how do you get this if you have not done this you can see that it's saying down, download all submission now it is possible that you can quickly just go back into that assignment setting and i'm going to turn assignment turn it on done editing on you can go into this assignment setting back into the assignment setting so that we can get an excel document so we see file submission here file submission we want to have this offline grading sheet enabled so once you say under feedback offline grading sheet enabled i click on save and display and then I come back to view all submission. Then under this grading action, you should have the Excel document here now. So you can use this to download the grade worksheet. So with this, you can tell, um, you can just tell 
and then let's open it to us to see what's inside. Um, so you can see um, those that have submitted your assignment, and those that did not submit, you can see it. So you can use this to also evaluate, okay, who submitted an assignment? And then you can also use this to support the first activity completion report that was also downloaded. So I'm just trying to show us things that you can do to get what you need to do. So that's just one way. So let's go back again. Another thing that you can also use for your, for your, for your attendance, apart from the fact that you're trying to track those who submitted, who came and downloaded and all that, you want to focus on this assignment. So since there are a lot of assignments here, you can now come into the quiz and then you have 441 um, submissions for quiz. And obviously, that's because we have two attempts allowed. So you can, depending on what you did, so you have the highest grade. So you can come into this as into the quiz report, and you see it says enrolled users who have attempted the quiz. You can change that um, that option and say enrolled users who have or have not attempted the quiz. And if you change that and it says show report, it will display for you those who have not and those who have together. And then you can simply just go ahead and do a download of all those persons who have done one thing or have not done um, what you expect them to do. So and that's it. You can download it in Excel here and that will be fine. So this is what I just want to show us today. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.